But what has actually taken place now in the Supreme Court, a constitution bench mm. has pronounced its verdict on a batch of petitions that sought a collegium-like system comprising of the Prime Minister, the Chief Justice of India and the leader of the opposition in the Lok Sabha to be selecting, to be the team that selects the Chief Election Commissioner and the Election Commissioners. Now, the Supreme Court has said that that will be the case. So they have ordered a committee comprising of the PM, the leader of the opposition, the Lok Sabha and the Chief Justice to select the Chief Election Commissioner and Election Commissioners at a time when there have been many questions on the functioning of the Election Commission of India, many questions on the transparency and independence of the functioning of the Election Commission of India, many decisions of the Election Commission of India which have been challenged primarily by the opposition. So this is a step that would enhance transparency uh, and perhaps bring the EC back to its status of being one of the uh, one of the the bench strengths of our democracy, as it were. I'll just get a couple of quick reactions, Nilanda. Would you like to come in with your initial thoughts on this? What does this mean for our democracy? On the face of it, it is actually a clear indication that the judiciary is not very happy or giving a thumbs down to the government's selection process of the chief election commissioner and the other election commissioners. Right. But introducing a committee, we know that what has happened in the past over the CVC. Absolutely. So the government it has been in a position that despite there being regulations, it can still violate the spirit of the regulation or the or the rules. Okay. Sir, yeah. I beg your pardon. Just, just give me a second. Let me go across to my colleague Arvind Gurasekar, who is yeah. in fact at the Supreme Court right now bringing us more details on this. Arvind, uh, just, uh, you know, very important uh, observations were also made by the Supreme Court while they were dictating the order. Uh, just take our viewers through the top headline, the top important things that has been said in this regard. Anket, in a historic judgment by the Supreme Court Constitution bench, Supreme Court has held that the Election Commission should act in an independent manner and, show, and to ensure that the Election Commission upholds the integrity and also acts in a free and fair manner to conduct elections as per the mandate given under Article 324, Supreme Court has held that there has to be a committee comprising of Prime Minister and also Leader of Opposition in Lok Sabha along with the Chief Justice of India to select the names or to select the Chief Election Commissioners and the Election Commissioner uh, for, for appointment to the election commission. Earlier, the government was appointing, selecting the uh, name, the chief election commissioner and also the election commissioners and those names were forwarded to the uh, president and president used to appoint them. Uh, now, scrapping that particular existing system, now the Supreme Court has formed a panel comprising of Prime Minister, Leader of Opposition in Lok Sabha and also the Chief Justice of India to finalize a name and to recommend the said name uh, to the President so that the President can appoint someone as the Election Commissioner. So, in a massive, in a historic judgment by the Supreme Court, Supreme Court has scrapped the existing system and has put in place a new system, uh, a, a committee comprising of Prime Minister, Leader of Opposition in Lok Sabha and also the Chief Justice of India to select the election commissioners who will in turn they will recommend to the president and the president has to um, appoint them as the election commissioner so you know the senior most election commissioner will be appointed as the chief election commissioner that particular system can continue but the appointment of election commissioners will be done by the this particular uh, committee and then they will be forwarding the name so this has been heard this has been uh, pronounced by the supreme court constitution bench headed by justice km joseph so uh, there was a uh, pl that was filed in supreme court saying that the existing system should be scrapped and a collegium like system comprising of Prime Minister, uh, Leader of Opposition and the Chief Justice of India should be put in place for the selection of for the selection and appointment of election commissioners. So five judge bench comprising of Justice Joseph, uh, Justice Ajay Rostogi and also three other judges heard this matter extensively. So after a detailed hearing today, uh, Justice, uh, ju uh, Justice Joseph uh, gave us a judgment which was concurred by Justice, uh, Justice Ajay Rostogi also. So in a majority view, all the five judges have held that there has to be an expert panel comprising of Prime Minister, Leader of Opposition Lok Sabha and the Chief Justice of India uh, to select the election commissioners who will in turn recommend to the Prime Minister, uh, to, who will in turn recommend to the President and the President will appoint them as election commissioners. So okay. the existing system has been scrapped and the new panel has been put in place.